Hi, I'm Jolie Tripp, founder of Mind Blowing Wellness. Thanks for watching. In this series of videos about digestion, I'll demonstrate the functional evaluation point that assesses the colon, otherwise known as the large intestine. This test, the ileocecal valve test, is a check of the large intestine. More specifically, it's the valve that connects the small intestine to the large intestine. Now remember that these functional evaluation tests are not meant to replace the battery of sophisticated lab tests that can and should be done to assess your health. It's only an additional tool for your use. Now the large intestine is where any remaining water from digestion is recycled and it's also responsible for converting any remaining nutrients into vitamins B1, B2, B12, vitamin K, and butyric acid. And of course it's responsible for forming and excreting waste. The colon is loaded with lots of bowel flora or healthy bacteria. But when the colon is not functioning properly because of something going on further upstream in the digestive tract, the colon can contain parasites or other pathogens, maldigested food or undigested fat. Gas may form as a result and cause bloating and pain. The ileocecal valve may get jammed open or even shut and that can cause real pain. Constipation and or diarrhea becomes a huge problem when the ileocecal valve is malfunctioning. When these, these issues are chronic, things like irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease or colitis can occur. Now let me show you how to conduct this ileocecal valve test of the colon. To perform this test, you'll need a friend or family member to help. Lie down on a flat but firm surface. Now point to where your belly button is and with the other hand point to your right ASIS which stands for anterior superior iliac spine or that bony projection that sticks out furthest on your right hip. Now I will draw an imaginary line between those two points and at the halfway point I'm going to press downward with a clockwise motion using three fingers. Now do you feel pain or tenderness? Rate it on a scale from 1 to 10. 1 meaning you feel the pressure of my fingers, but no pain all the way up to 10 meaning it really hurts. Be sure to record your tenderness rating and today's date so that we can monitor your progress. Now can dysfunction in the large intestine cause emotional disorders like anxiousness, stress, or feeling blue? Absolutely. Assessing the health of your ileocecal valve is one more tool in your arsenal to get to the root of your moods. Thanks for watching. Be well.